Good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, hello. It says, can you hear me? It seems like this is not working. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher, we can hear. Yeah. You can hear. Yes. yes. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Yeah, the thing is that this, that there is a microphone, but okay. Wonderful. How are you? How are you tonight? Hi, Hi. teacher. Fine. Ready Fine, for a teacher and you? <laughs> yes, ready for a class, teacher. Excellent. Fine. How are you doing, Daniel? I'm fine, teacher. Thanks. And you? Fine too, my friend. Yes, I'm fine. Okay. Welcome to the class. Let's begin. So, good evening, everyone. Today is August the 11th, and this is the pre intermediate one. The topic for tonight is describing our families. We'll continue with the description of our families. Okay, so in the agenda, we have asking about family, the present progressive or the present continuous. I come from a big family and families are changing. Okay, these are the topics that we will start. The purpose is to describe our families, right? So that is the objective. Now, what do you remember we studied yesterday? What did we study yesterday? Yesterday, read about Cristina Aguilera. Ah, that's right, we read about Cristina Aguilera. What else? We were talking oh. about uh, family members. Exactly, we talked about family members. What else? Uh, relations in between members of family. Exactly, and we will continue today. Okay, thank you for remembering. Let's move on. I want you to look at this picture. The topic is housing. Teacher, what is housing? And housing is the place where people live. So the types, whether they are uh, apartments, houses, uh, or I mean, other accommodations like people, people adapt trailers or boats in order to make them houses. So all of them are included in housing. Now, do you prefer a small house or an, an apartment? Roberto, what do you think? Well, teacher, my family is a big family. I prefer a, a big house. Yeah, that's a nice answer. <laughs> Very good answer. Okay. Uh, imagine that you had to move to an apartment. How would you feel in an apartment? Mm. For my family, apartment uh, will be uncomfortable. Uncomfortable, right? Yes. That's true because it's too small. Okay. Well, that's right. Thanks for sharing. Now let's see. How about Glorita? What do you prefer, Glorita? A small house or an apartment? I prefer a small house because in apartment I have problem of parking. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. 
usually apartments don't include a parking space. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's right. Okay. What about you, Daniel? What do you prefer, a small house or an apartment? Um, well, I prefer um, a small house because my family is a small family. Uh -huh. And also it's more easy to clean. Ah, okay, it's easier, it's easier to clean. If it's smaller, it's easier to clean, okay. Yeah. Do you, yes. Do you have children? Ah, you said you had two children, right? Yes, teacher. Yeah, that's right, okay. Nice, thanks for, for your opinion. How about uh, Marlene? Marlene, what do you prefer, a small house or an apartment? Hi, teacher. Hello. Um, my is a, a house. A house? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, my family is, is very... Um, very big? Is um, grande, big, big. big. It's very big. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. I my my house is um a little a little big. A little big. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The house yes. has to be big for a big family. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Veronica, what do you think? A small house or an apartment? What do you prefer? Good evening, teacher. I prefer a big house. Oh, you prefer a big house, okay. Yes, and for my family, it's, it's big. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then um, I need a big house. You need a big house, okay. Yeah, I understand. Okay. okay. And how about Orquita? What do you think? Uh Hello, uh, excuse me for the late. <laughs> um, I prefer th this moment, this small house, because it's my, uh, it's very easy, the cleaning and uh, uh, ordenarla, no sé cómo, cómo decirlo. Oh, clean it up and straighten it up. Mm -hmm. Put it okay. in you can okay. it in order it's easier okay. it in order okay uh -huh. okay okay um this, this is this is the, the 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 reason because i i i prefer small but um i would like a house to build that big garden oh, and um, and uh, i have i I cultivar or plant uh -huh, grow, very grow vegetables. Uh -huh, exactly. Mm, huerto casero. <laughs> okay, you like to have an orchard with carrots, mm -hmm. herbs, yeah, and all of the plants. Okay. Yeah, that's yes. nice. Interesting. Okay. okay, thanks for sharing. Okay. <laughs> What do you prefer, a small house or an apartment? Okay. How about Rolando? What do you think, Rolando? What do you prefer? Do you prefer a small house or an apartment? Uh, do you, uh, I have, I, a small, a small house, uh -huh. uh, I, uh, pardon, uh, I prefer uh, a small house. Uh -huh. You prefer a small house. Okay. Yeah. How do you think the two places are different? How is a house, a small house, different from an apartment? Yeah, it's very different, teacher. Uh -huh. How? 
in a small house, do you you can have a, a badger in an apartment you don't have a, a badger, for example. Yeah. In a house, do you have a parking for your cars? Yes. In an apartment, is yeah. You don't have. You don't have don't have a space for parking. Sometimes. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, that's true. Uh, well, I suppose it's uh, more comfortable to uh, live in a house. Yeah, that's true. Uh, in an apartment, uh, do you have to upstairs, downstairs every every day? Ah, uh, yeah. Very complicated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Thank you. What about Glorita? What's your opinion? What's the difference between the two places? In apartment, I don't have privacy. Privacy. More privacy. Privacy. And privacy. Yes. And I have noisy, mucho ruido. You have noise, a lot of noise. Noise. Um, the room is very uh, small. The rooms are small. There's... And the bathroom, and the bathroom too. Uh -huh. Yes, the bathrooms are small. Well, yeah. all the place is small. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's how they are different. Oh, very good. Now let's. Let's move on. Thank you for your answers. Thank you for participating. Let's continue. Asking about families. Yesterday, we were discussing uh, and talking about the different members of the family. Okay. So today, we're going to be making, a, let's say, a description of this. Okay. We're going to say like, like the example, you, maybe you remember that yesterday we said, here I'm going to include other things that I didn't put in the slide. Is married to? Okay, is married to, uh, for example, you say, this is my grandfather, his name, this is my grandfather. His name is uh, Tonio. He's 72 years old. He's retired. He's married to Clara. Okay. This is my grandmother. Her name is Clara. She is 68 years old and she is retired. Okay. Then you say, Tonio and Clara have two children, or they have two children, three children, right? Ivan. Will and Irma. Ivan is 45 years old. He's a mechanic. He's married to Maya. Okay, this is Maya. Uh, Maya is my mom. She's 42 years old. She's a secretary. Okay. Uh, Ivan and Maya have two children, have three children. Julio, Maya, no I mean Mayra and me. So who's speaking? Vinny is speaking. Then he says, eh, this is my, my uncle. His name is Will. He's 40 years old, etc. Okay, so then um, what we're going to do now is we're going to be working and volunteers are going to describe their families if they can. Right. Okay. Let's see. We have uh, Roberto is the first volunteer. Okay. Can you describe uh, your family? Yeah. Yeah. My family, my real family. Yes, your real family. 
you can say like, or you can describe this one if you if you prefer. You can describe only this six, no seven people. Okay. I'm going to describe the Tonio and Clara families, okay? Yeah, perfect. No problem. Okay. This is my grandmother, Clara. She is, is six, 68 years old. Mm -hmm. She is retired. She is married to Tonio. He is 72 years old. He is retired also. Okay. Tonio and Clara have three childs. Mm -hmm. Ivan, Will, and Irma. Yes. Ivan is 45 years old. He's a mechanic. He's married. He's married with Maya. She has she has oh she is 20, uh, excuse me, 42 years old. She's a secretary. Ivan and Maya have three child, Julio, Myra, and Bini. Julio is 15 years old. He's a student. Maya is a 12 years old. She's a student too. Bini is eight years old and he's a student. Okay. Um, Thank you very much. That would be okay. That's nice. And uh, uh, the next would be Glorita. Maybe Glorita helps me with this four. Hi. Hello. I am Mayra. Okay, very good. I am, tw I am 12 years old. I have two brothers, uh, Julio and Vinny. They are a student. They're students. Mm -hmm. This is this is my Maya. He is my mom. She's my mom. Mm -hmm. uh, she is a secretary. And he is, he is Ivan. Yes. He is my father. Mm -hmm. He is 45 years old. Yes. My father have uh, one brother and one sister. Yes. Uh, oh. Only that. <laughs> that's in, That's enough. Thank you very much. That's very nice. Very good. Thanks. Okay. Another volunteer. Okay, Daniel. Okay, you may talk about sure. this family or this family. Okay, you decide. Um, can I talk about my family? You can talk about your family, of course. Only that because this is a public, this is a public class. Okay, sometimes I prefer people to talk about these things that are private, right? For, okay, yes, yes. Yeah, for protection of your yes, family, okay. for your protection too. So if okay. you prefer, you can work on this, okay? okay. I know your family is beautiful, wonderful, and uh, yeah. Because if this class were not on YouTube, okay, I think that, uh, Yes, I would listen to your family, but I prefer private things <laughs> to be private. Privado, privado, right? Private, private. So, yes, yes. Section. Uh -huh. Okay, so <clears throat> you, can, okay. you can describe these four people here. Okay. Okay. Um, Will. Will is, no. Um, Will is married to Ceci. Yeah. Will is 40 years old yes she he's a lawyer lawyer and ceci is 
uh, 36 years old and she's a dentist. Mm -hmm. uh, they have two children, Marcos and Silvia. Marcos is 10 years old and Silvia is eight years old and both are students. Students, okay. Students, students, yes. Excellent, very good. Thank you very much. And now, Thanks. okay, thank you. Now, Olguita, describe this. Okay, I'm Irma, I am a chef. I have a 38 years old. I married with a many. Uh -huh. Yes. He, uh -huh. Manny. Yes. Uh, Manny. Oh, Manny. Yes. He is uh, 42 years old and he is a builder. Okay. We have a two, a two child. Two children? Two, two children, sorry. Tere and Ale. Uh, they are gemelas. I, I don't know gemelas. Twins? Wins. Twins. Um, they are wins like and twins? A twins. Twins, okay. Mm -hmm. And they are students. Mm -hmm. I'm very happy with my family. Excellent. Very good. Thank you very much, Olgi. That's nice. Okay. Now, Jamilet Castro. You choose mm -hmm. to talk about this one or this. You decide. Mm -hmm. I am Ale. Okay, you are Ale, very good. Hello, my name is Ale. I am 12 years old, I'm a student. Yes. And this is my grandfather, Sean. Yes. He is um, 65 years old, he is retired. He is married with Chayo. Mm -hmm. She is um, 50 years old. She's retired. Uh, they have um, two child. Many. Yes. Many. Many. Okay. And they have. Uh, sorry. Sophie. She is. Uh, many. She is uh, 40, 42 years old. He's 42. He's builder. He's a builder. Mm -hmm. builder. And Sophia, she is uh, 30, 32 years old. Um, I have um, one sister. Okay. They are, they is my, they are, oh no, she is my twins. She's my twin. Uh -huh. She's 12 years old and she is a student. Okay, wonderful. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Now, Jamilet. It's me. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh no, Jamilet. <laughs> <laughs> It's because I thought that it was, uh, let me see, who is our other lady that had raised her hand? Okay. Well, then Miledis, thank you. Thank you very much. Now Miledis. Okay. I am Bini. Okay, Bini, very good. Okay. I am Bini. I eight years old. I'm a student. Okay. Uh, my sister is Mayra. She is 12 years old. She is a student. And my brother Julio, he is 15 years old. He is a student. Okay. And my father, Ivan, he is 45 years old, he is mechanic. He's a mechanic. And, and my mom is Maya. He is 42 years old. She, she is, she, sorry, she is a secretary. 
Okay. And my grandfather, Toño, he is 72. 72? 72. 72 years old and he is retired. Yes. And my grandmother, Clara, she is 68 years old. She is retired. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Now, the idea here is for you to see the pattern, how to describe the family, okay? So if you can describe this family, you can describe your family, right? So that is the logic. The logic is if you can describe this, you can describe the family. Okay, now using this picture, we're going to complete this. Complete the following sentences, okay? Let me see. Probably the first ones, well, I'm going to be scrolling up and scrolling down for you to see them. Toño is Clara's husband. They, they are married. Yes. Husband. Okay. His husband. Excellent husband. Very good. Oh, yes. Husband. Okay. Toño is Clara's husband. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now, number two, Vinny is Clara's grandson. 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 Okay, excellent. Uh, Ceci is Tonyos. Okay, let's look. Daughter in law. Daughter in law. Says daughter in law. Daughter in law. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Daughter in law. Daughter in law. See here because it won't fit. Daughter. Will it fit? Yeah, maybe. Daughter. Daughter in law. Excellent. Very nice. How about Irma? It's daughter. Irma. It's daughter. It's daughter of Clara. Clara's daughter. Uh -huh. Irma is Clara's daughter. Daughter. Mm -hmm. daughter. 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 Excellent. Then, John and Ali. John and Ali. John is Ali's grandfather. 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 Excellent. Grandfather. Grandfather. Yes. Grandfather. Okay, excellent. Now let's see. Sonny and Sylvia's. Shy. Sonny and Sylvia. 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 Sonny. They are cousin. 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 Cousins. They are okay. Sonny is Sophia's, I mean, Sonny is Sylvia's cousin. Okay, excellent. Will is Ivan's? Brothers. Brother. Mm -hmm. Brother. Ivan's Brothers. Brother. Okay. Sophia is Manny's. Sister. 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 Excellent sister. Ere is Alice. Sister. Alice's sister. Mm -hmm. sister. 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 And Ivan is Marcos. Ivan is, let me see, Marcos. What is, let's look for Marcos. Marcos, Ivan, Marco, Marco. Ah, Uncle, Uncle, yeah. Uncle. Mm -hmm. Uncle, nice. Irma and Silvia's Irma is, let me see, Silvia's 
Aunt. 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 Excellent. Very good. Mm -hmm. Now, Tere is Chayos. Okay. Tere is Chayos. Granddaughter. 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 Mm -hmm. Excellent. Now, Maya is Cecis. Maya is Cecis. Sister in law. Sister in law. Sister in law. Maya is Cecis. Sister in law. Let me see. Maya and mm -hmm. Cecis. Not right. Nothing. Mm -hmm. They are not related. Uh -huh. <laughs> because con cuña uh -huh. Ivan's Ceci is Ivan's sister-in-law sister-in-law it's Ivan's sister-in-law and uh, Maya is Will's sister-in-law but uh -huh. Maya and Ceci they are Nothing. Not, no, not related <laughs> but I wanted to write Mayra and I put Maya now let's put here Mayra because the uh -huh. others are not related. Okay. So, Mayra is Cecis. Mayra is Cecis what? Niece. Niece, exactly. Niece. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ale is Cecis. Niece, too. Niece, too, right? <laughs> Yeah, niece. Mm -hmm. And the last one, Julio is Manis. Julio is Manis. Nephew. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very good. So this is these are the answers. Okay. That's nice. Now, this presentation is already, well, I sent the link. You have the mm -hmm. link in the WhatsApp group. Okay. okay. So that you may download the, uh, the classes that I was missing, the 11, the 12, and this one, mm -hmm. 13. All of the mm -hmm. classes are in the link, okay? In this information, I will send you a picture for you to have the answers. Now we have the conversation. Uh, I come from a big family, right? The conversation, I come from a big family. So uh, the conversation is like this. Tell me about your brothers and sisters, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure she's working on a very secret project right now. Wow, and what about your brother? He's a wild, wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Uh, no, my sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother, he is missing an R. He's your brother. And your brother, he's traveling in the Amazon. So, the sister? is working and uh, the brother is traveling in the Amazon. Okay, so mm -hmm. volunteers to practice the conversation. Okay, yes, we have uh, Don Roberto and uh, Paola. Okay, Rita mm -hmm. is going to be Paola and uh, Sue is going to be Don Roberto Betancourt. Okay. Okay. So let's begin. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister worked for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. 
What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Oh, no. My sister away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Okay, excellent. Very nice. Now we have Marlene is going to be Rita and Glorita is going to be Zoo. Okay, tell me about your brother and sister Sui. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She is working on a very secret project right now. Well, and what about your brother? He's a good life photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Meet them? Oh, oh, no, my sister away. She's not working in the United States this month. Are your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Amazon. Thank you very much. Now, Karen is Rita and Jamilet is Sue. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about you, your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Oh, no. My sister's away. She is not working in the, unit, the United States this month. United States? United States and, this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Okay. Excellent. Very good. That's it. Okay. No more volunteers. Okay. Well, let's continue. So like, let's see if these sentences are true or false. Mm -hmm. Okay. It says, sister works for the government. True or true. false? True. 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 This is true. true. So, yes, it's true, right? Yes. It's uh, sister. Yeah. <laughs> For the government. She's a spy. False. False. Uh, False. Yeah, we'll say. Uh, say false. 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 Uh, brother is traveling in the Middle East. It's false. 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 It's true. True. It's true. Secret project. True. So, is taking pictures of wildlife. It's true. It's true. It's true. Okay. Excellent. Let's continue. Okay. Let's see. Present progressive. The present progressive is form or the present continuous is formed with the verb to be plus the verb in ing. And it normally indicates an activity that is happening right now. Or sometimes we can say that it's not necessarily happening right now, but in the general context, it is happening. So one is a specific, the other is general. Let's say specific. Okay, I'm, I'm going to call it the specific, just to, mm -hmm, just to give it a name. And the other is going to be general. I'm going to explain the difference. Okay, when we talk about a specific one, it's happening right now. So you see that the action is happening. For example, she's taking pictures. Uh, she's taking pictures right now, or he is eating lunch. Those things are happening in this moment. But in general, if you say uh, he's working for the government, maybe he's at home, but 
he's working for the government, right? In general, not necessarily in this moment. Or when you say she's studying at the university and maybe right now she's at home, she's not at the university, right? Or she's not even in class in this moment. She's probably watching a movie, but in general, we say that she's studying at the university, okay? So, or another general thing would be, he's looking for a job. Maybe right now he's sitting on the sofa reading the newspaper and he's not thinking about jobs right now. But in general, he's looking for a job, means he is interested in finding a job. So that would be general versus specific. So what's the meaning? It's happening, but not right now. Okay, and the specific is happening in this moment. Okay, so this is what we call current events. Okay, current events are the, the ones that are happening right now, like the ones in the picture. All of the, all of the ones in the pictures are current events. Okay, so let's begin from the beginning. Uh, the purpose is to describe current events. Okay, and these are some examples. He's working, she is working, and we say it is raining because it has to be impersonal. It's snowing, it's raining, okay? And we say, we are working, you are working, or they are working. And the contraction, we're working, you're working, and they're working. So that would be the contracted form. Now over here, where's your family now? What are they doing now? My brother is probably working now. My sister is probably watching TV now. My father is probably reading a book now. My mother is probably cooking dinner now. Why probably? Because I'm not, I, I, I'm not looking at them, right? They are out of my vision, so I cannot see them. But I calculate that they are doing that because that's what they usually do at a particular time. And now is that time. So we say, my mother is probably cooking dinner now. Okay, imagine that she cooks dinner at six o'clock. And right now it's six o'clock. My mom is in her house, but I say she's probably cooking dinner now, right? So that is another way. Now, let's see, these are some examples. Listen, please. Okay. I have a question. Sorry. I have a question. Okay. Please. Is necessary? Is necessary? Uh, say now. Um. Uh, yes. Obligatory. Okay. No. no. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. No problem. Like for example, you say, "Why do we say now?" because it's happening in this moment. But check over here. Is your sister work, working for the government? Okay, notice that over here we don't say now because this is the general one. Like for example, if you say, is your daughter studying at the university? You don't need to say now because probably, uh, well, she's studying at the university in general. But in this moment, she is not at the university, right? So that would be a, a difference. We normally uh, talk about current events, and of course, we can say now. I mean, because they are happening in this very moment. Okay, so you say, are you living at home now? Okay, what's the meaning? That uh, on other occasions, you don't live at home. Okay, maybe you travel, you go to different places, but in this particular moment, are you living at home now? Probably this indicates a change. Okay, let's see, what's the normal use or what's the normal meaning of the present progressive? Present progressive indicates three principal things. Number one, it talks about a current event, something that is taking place or is happening in this moment. 
Number two, it talks about something that is temporary, temporary, something that um, is only happening now, but that it will soon change. And number three, present progressive talks about changes, changes. Okay, when we talk about changes, the changes can be permanent or temporary. Like for example, if you talk about a, a permanent change, we say like, um, hey, are you still working at this place? No, not anymore. Now I'm working at this other place. That is a permanent situation in one way, but that is not the idea. Now the idea is that it's a change. Okay, so the principal thing that we should consider is a change. Now I'm working at this place. Originally or before I was working at, an, at the other place, but now I'm working in this place. So we are showing or we are expressing a change, right? So when we talk about changes, we use the present progressive. Okay, an example to say, to talk about gradual changes. Gasoline, gasoline is never the same price, right? It's usually more and more expensive. So you say gas is getting more and more expensive. Or when you talk about the progress or progression of the day, you say it's getting darker and darker. It's getting darker and darker. What's the meaning? That the day is finishing and the night is coming, right? The day is finishing and the night is coming. So that is a gradual change. So that would be the other thing. And of course, the present progressive usually talks about repetition, like uh, he's pushing me. He's pushing me is not only one time, he pushed me, right? He pushed me, no, he's pushing me, okay? Or something that is a long action, right? That is still happening. He's pushing me, okay? Something like that. All right, let us see. I don't know if that answers your question. Yes, teacher, I have, I have a question. Tell could, me. You, could you repeat the second one used for the present continuous? You said it's talk about the current event, it's talk about changes. And the second one, I can hear you. Okay, sure. We say like this, let me find a, sp a space for it. Okay, let us say like this, because this is for this one. I'm going to write it uh, on this lady, on this one here. Okay, say, I'm going to say letter A, okay. For letter A, we say that it talks about current. Current event. Current events. Mm -hmm. Okay, for B, we're going to say that it talks about temporary situations. Temporary. Temporary situations, okay. And for letter C, we're talking about changes. Whether the changes are gradual or, uh, let's say gradual or progressive, or they are, let's say sudden changes. The changes happen, boom, like this, okay? Sometimes the changes are little by little. It's like when you are losing your hair, right? Then, that uh, it isn't like you go to bed with all the hair and the next day you get up and you don't have any hair. No, no, it's little by little, little by little. The same, so we say that is gradual, gradual change. Okay, so these are the, these are some, but I'm going to share a, a presentation that I made. I'm going to send it to your, no, I'm not going to send it to your WhatsApp group. What I'm going to do is I'm going to upload it.
to the drive so that you can download it, okay? Because my telephone gets, you know, <laughs> gets really full and then I cannot do many things that I need to do with the cell phone because I have many groups in, in it. So for that reason, um, I need to upload the information, but I'm, I promise that I'm going to upload it and you can download it from there, okay? So current events, temporary situations and changes. Okay, so uh, there are many things that you talk about that. In the presentation, I include them. Accusing, you are accusing someone. She is, okay, she is taking my things without asking for permission or you are criticizing someone, etc. So all of these things, are in the presentation, so I'm going to send them to you for you to have, okay? Teacher. Yes. Teacher, sorry, can you please repeat another example from temporary situation? Oh yes, of course, I can give you another, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to say like this, that this sounds funny, but boys, uh, when they grow up, they say, well, I'm looking for a girlfriend. I'm looking for a girlfriend. That is supposed to be something temporary because it finishes when they find a girlfriend, right? But the problem is that sometimes they find a girlfriend, but they continue looking for a girlfriend, right? So that is kind of funny, no? Because they say, hey, but you already have a girlfriend. Yes, but I'm looking for improvement they say, right? Which is a shame. If they have a girlfriend, okay, they should stop looking because they already found. Okay, but that is temporary. They say, I'm looking for a girlfriend. That is something temporary. Or I'm looking for a job. I'm looking for a job. That is temporary. When you find a job, you are not looking for a job anymore. Well, that is the theory. Then uh, another one that can be temporary is, I'm living with my sister until I find uh, a place that I can buy. Okay, that is temporary. When I find a house, I will leave my sister's house and go to my own house, right? But for the, for the time being, right now, I'm living with my sister. That is temporary, okay? Uh, did I explain it clearly or you want me to give you another example? Yes, teacher. Thank you. All right. Okay. Very good. Your teacher. Thank you so much. Uh, you're welcome. Okay. So that would be temporary situations. Uh, the things that are happening right now, okay, those are current events. The ones that uh, are only for, for a period of time, but then they will change are temporary situations. And when you describe the changes, they can be gradual or they can be sudden. Teacher, sudden, I'm going to write sudden here for you to see it. Sudden, okay. Sudden means repentinos, right? Some, some changes go little by little. They are gradual changes, okay? Gradual changes. I'm going to put it here on the other picture. If, if the app lets me, okay. Let me see, a gradual change. So gradual, sudden and gradual. These are the changes. The changes can be sudden or gradual. All right, now let's see the examples. It says, are you living at home now? Yes, I am or no, I'm not. Is your sister working for the government? Yes, she is, or no, she isn't. Are Ed and Jill going to college this year? Yes, they are, or no, they aren't. Where are you working now? I'm not working, I need a job. What's your brother doing these days? He's traveling in the Amazon. Who are your parents visiting this week? They are visiting my grandmother, okay? So this week, 
tells you, I mean, or talks about something that is temporary, right? So do you have any questions about these examples? No questions? Okay, wonderful. If there are no questions, let's look at the pictures. Uh, picture number one. What's happening in picture number one? Swimming. She's swimming. She's she's swimming. She's current. She's temporary situation. Oh, there is a current, a current event. 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 Is happening now. All of these, all of these are current event. Current event. Mm -hmm. Current event. Mm -hmm. So she's swimming. What about picture number two? They are camping. They are camping. Uh -huh. They are camping. They are telling horror stories around the bonfire. Imagine. Oh no, right? They're afraid because they are telling horror stories mm -hmm. in, in the campfire. Okay. What about this lady? She's going. She's walking, walk. walking, walking, walking in the forest. She's walking in the forest. She's walking in the forest. She will meet Slenderman, right? Slenderman, October thirty first, only in cinemas. Ah, no propaganda. Okay, no teacher. So we say like this: She's walking in the forest, and she will meet Slenderman. Okay. Now, what about this picture? He's riding a bike. He's riding a bike. Riding. He's riding a bike. And this guy over here? He's running. He's running. He's running. He's running. He's running. Yes. What's the difference between running and jogging? When you are jogging, is for exercise, for fun, okay? And you set the whole foot, the complete foot, on the ground and when you are running you usually use the tip the tip of your toes because that is for practice maybe for a marathon or for other situations or you're running after the bus <laughs> okay let's see what about this picture is hunting yeah she's hunting uh -huh, she's hunting okay what about these two people they are walking. They are walking. They are walking, and probably they are talking about the immortality of the crab. Okay. <laughs> they are talking about the immortality of the crab. Okay. Some might say they talk about love, life, the future. Okay. How many children they want? No, they don't. Talk. <laughs> they are. All right. Okay. What's happening in this picture? Surfing. He's surfing. He's surfing. He's surfing. Surfing. He's surfing. What about this lady? What's she doing? Uh, she's, 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 doing she's doing exercise. 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 Pilates. Exercising or she's doing exercise. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. That's good. Okay. What about this man? What's he doing? He's, he's, he's doing, doing yoga. Um, maybe he's joking. tai chi <laughs> making tai chi <laughs> he's practicing tai chi chuan yes mm -hmm. yes the, the typical clothes yes they tell you that he's practicing martial arts he's practicing mm -hmm. by the movement maybe tai chi chuan okay let's see probably by the movements I say if he's not he's not <laughs> By the position that he ha he has, okay, maybe. All right, but it could be any. Now, what about this boy here? Skating. He's, he's, skating. Skating. he's playing skating. skate. He's skateboarding. Uh huh. He's skate. What about this lady, this young girl? What is she doing? Canoeing, right? Which are canoeing? Yes. You know what a, can, a canoe? Uh -huh. 
Yes, a canoe is a, something that is looks like an eye. Looks like an eye, right? A canoe. So uh, let me see if I can draw it. I can't, but okay. I will be like Picasso. So <laughs> not to open, but uh, something like this. And the girl is here. So a canoe, right? And she has the paddles, the paddles, and she's paddling. She's paddling, moving in a quiet lake or pond. Okay, so canoe. Okay, excellent. So these are current events. What are the people doing? Okay, let us complete this exercise. It says, complete these conversations with the present continuous. Hi, Luisa. Hi, Luisa. What are you what doing? What are you now? doing now? Exactly. What are what are you doing now? Doing now. Doing now. Uh -huh. I'm shopping. I am shopping, shopping with, shopping with I'm friends. Shopping with friends. I'm shopping. I'm shopping with friends. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you having Are you a good having time? a good time? Are you having a good time? Okay, excellent. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. In a good time? Yes, I am. Sorry, yes, I am. things are one on top of another because maybe the space is too small, but let's see if I can modify them much better. Okay. For shopping, I'm not so sure. I can modify it, but I can try. Yeah, but it looks much better. Okay. Conversation. Teacher, teacher. Hello. Uh, in the statement, are you having a good time? This is a temporary situation. Sure. I would like to say that it's a permanent situation that all the people should have a good time. But yes, having a good time is usually very short. Okay. Short lived. If some people have are having a good time right now. A few minutes later they are gone, right? So uh -huh. But you say, are you having a good time? Because, you know, ladies, ladies love shopping. Ladies love shopping. So that's why B has, okay. B says, I'm shopping with friends. That is Luisa, right? Luisa is B. A, we don't know who it is. But he says, are you having a good time? Are you enjoying it? Are you enjoying the activity, right? So that would be the, the idea. Okay. So are you enjoying the activity. Yes, that would be something temporary. But while this true that it is temporary, it's something that is happening right now. So it's a current event, right? Okay, let's see. Hi Teresa, where are you now? I am I'm looking I'm looking at I'm looking at the house, the house now. now. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at a house now. Okay, we are looking at a house here. I'm looking at a house now. Okay. Are you planning? Are you buy, planning? Are you planning to buy, buy one, one now? now? Exactly. So, are you planning? planning. Are you planning to buy one now? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I need a place near my job. Near my job. Okay. Three. Hi, Tony. What? What are you doing now? What are you doing now? What are you doing now? I'm working. I'm working office. I'm working. I'm working in my office now. I'm working in my office, right? I'm working in my office now. Okay. Now the next. Are, are you are planning, planning to work late? Are you planning to work late? To work late? No. No, I am not. not. I'm not. I live in early tonight. I live in early tonight. I live in early tonight. Early tonight. Okay. Don't, don't 
to be the answer to the conversation. Okay, right now we don't have much time to do this one. So we're going to leave it for tomorrow. Okay, this information, like I said, is in your WhatsApp group. So download it, take a look at it, study it. If you have a question, you ask me tomorrow, okay? Tonight, we're going to stop here. I have another class, I have to run to the other class. But okay. thanks, thanks for participating. Thank you for everything. You are wonderful. Okay. Sleep tight. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye, everyone. Good night. See you. Be good.